When I close my eyes and imagine what it is I do for a living, I see a computer screen. I mean, yes, I'm primarily a clinical researcher, so much of what I do is looking at statistical software or, more recently, writing grant applications. But even when I think of my clinical duties, I see that computer screen. The reason? The electronic health record, the hot beating heart of medical care in the modern era, our most powerful tool and our greatest enemy. The EHR records everything, not just the vital signs and lab values of our patients, not just our notes and billing codes, everything. Every interaction we have is tracked and can be analyzed. The EHR is basically sting in every breath you take, every click you make, it is watching you. And researchers are leveraging that panopticon to give insight into something we don't talk about frequently, the issue of racial bias in medicine. Is our true nature revealed by our interactions with the electronic health record? We are talking about this study in JAMA Network Open. Researchers leveraged huge amounts of EHR data from two big academic medical centers, Vanderbilt University Medical Center and Northwestern University Medical Center. All told, there's data from nearly 250,000 hospitalizations here. The researchers created a metric for EHR engagement. Basically, they summed the total amount of clicks and other EHR interactions that occurred during the hospitalization and divided by the length of stay in days to create a sort of average engagement per day metric. This number was categorized into four groups. Think low engagement, medium engagement, high, and very high engagement. And the question was what factors would predict higher engagement? Well, at Vanderbilt, there was less engagement with patients who identified as black, Hispanic, or other race. Similar differences were present at Northwestern, except among black patients who actually got a bit more engagement. So, okay. Right away, we need to be concerned about the obvious implications here. Less engagement with the EHR may mean lower quality care, right? Less attention to medical issues. And if that differs systematically by race, that's a problem. But we need to be careful here because engagement in the health record is not random. There are many factors that would lead you to spend more time in one patient's chart versus another. Medical complexity is the most obvious one. The authors did their best to account for this, adjusting for patients' age, sex, insurance status, comorbidity score, and social deprivation index based on their zip code, but they notably did not account for the acuity of illness during the hospitalization. If individuals identifying as a minority were, all else being equal, more likely to be more acutely ill by the time they were hospitalized, you might see results like this. The authors also restrict their analysis to individuals who were discharged alive. I'm not entirely clear on why they made this choice. Most people don't die in the hospital. The inpatient mortality rate at most centers is from 1 to 1.5 percent, but excluding those individuals could potentially bias these results, especially if race is, all else being equal, a predictor of inpatient mortality, as some studies have shown. But the truth is, this data isn't coming out of nowhere. It does not exist in a vacuum. There are numerous studies that demonstrate different intensity of care among minority versus non-minority individuals. There's this study, which shows that minority populations are less likely to be placed on the liver transplant wait list. There's this study, which found that minority kids with type 1 diabetes were less likely to get insulin pumps than their white counterparts. And this one, which showed that kids with acute appendicitis were less likely to get pain control medications if they were black. There's this study which shows that although life expectancy decreased across all races during the pandemic, it decreased the most among minority populations. This list goes on. It's why the CDC has called racism a, quote, fundamental cause of disease. So yes, it is clear there are racial disparities in healthcare outcomes. It is clear that there are racial disparities in treatments. But it's also clear that virtually every physician believes they deliver equitable care. Somewhere this disconnect arises. Could the actions we take in the electronic health record reveal the unconscious biases we have? Does the all-seeing eye of the electronic health record see not only into our brains, but into our hearts? And if it can, are we ready to confront what it sees? For Medscape, I'm Perry Wilson.